how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, we are going to be decluttering my file cabinet. When I lived in an apartment, before I moved into a tiny house, I had two file cabinets and they were filled with tons of stuff that I could barely even get in there. Before I went tiny, I shredded about 110 different bags. All of that stuff that was in that file, those file cabinets, I got rid of took pictures of most of it and put them on a hard drive. However, now that I'm living tiny, I only have the one file cabinet and I'm finding myself starting to accumulate those papers and stuff and that clutter that I don't want. So we are going to stop that before it starts again, my hoarderism. Yeah, let's declutter my file cabinet. First things first, I cannot get to my file cabinet, which is back there, right there with all this stuff in the way. So I'm going to take all that stuff out and actually utilize my whole office to help me declutter that file cabinet. God, this thing is heavy. Ugh. I open the first drawer and there is lots of stuff back there. Plus there's, it goes all the way back there. I can barely get to, to some of that stuff. So we're gonna go through all that. Uh, and then I also have all of this stuff right there. We're gonna go through that. And I've got all of that. I am going to start with the bottom drawer because these are basically the reminiscing things. Uh, they're also like my mom and dad's, they're both passed away. It's their files, their records, their taxes, their important stuff. So I keep all that in here as well. I also have things like childhood things in here, uh, memories. I might struggle with those because it's just because. We have taken out all of the file folders from the bottom one. There's a lot of stuff in the back. Things that I use for my business, scales, envelopes, stickers, thank you cards, uh, um, What's this thing called? Paper slicer. Okay, here's where it gets fun. I save all my pamphlets. I've always saved all my pamphlets. With my pamphlets, do you actually really go back and reference these? Like. You do, you do, you do reference some of them. Like when my mini split I felt wasn't working right, I referenced my guide. With my refrigerator, I wanted to see if I could put the door on a different way, so you reference the guide. A lot of these things, if you don't use them anymore, get rid of them. That's one way, if you want to keep all of these guides, keep them, but keep only the things that you have. Go through them once in a while, and every time that you get rid of an appliance that you don't have, get rid of the the guide or the booklet that goes with it. Shadow. I don't know, it's uh, you have to pick and choose what you keep in your file cabinet if it's important to you, which is basically my point. Okay, we're gonna keep all of these because they, I mean, I don't want I guess you can always reference these online too, these quick start guides. It's just so much easier to know that you have the exact thing that the product came with. I don't know, I'm keeping them. I'm gonna put it to the side right now. What is she doing? 
my childhood. I've got, I don't really need these. Like they're my report cards. I don't even know why I have them. And these are things that a hoarder hangs on to, but they're also things that a person who wants to reminisce hangs on to. through all that stuff and basically just organized it instead of getting rid of too much I got rid of some in order to put that in a in the right spot instead of taking up room in the file cabinet and I categorized the stuff from least important in the back and most important in the front so I found all of these extra folders so we've got all those extra folders and what I usually do is instead of wasting them or throwing them away sell them or get rid of them or if you want to use them if you have writing up here take a sticker and put it over it and it makes it brand new again just write on the sticker each time okay. all right i am going to start by taking out all these notebooks that are in the front i used to save notebooks i used to collect notebooks i write and make a lot of lists and i do a lot of stuff with notebooks so that's why i still have them taxes not much they're all my past taxes so I'm actually gonna put those down here now that the top one is done we have less to work with which is really good all right let's do this Working with a couple files up there, and then we have to sort through all that stuff down there and be able to fit it all in this one cabinet. We're going to put those somewhere different because they belong in a different category, and we're gonna see if we can downsize any of the files that I already have. left with a bunch of folders a bunch of notebooks thank you cards and paper stuff that we're going to put in a different spot and garbage the only two things that I got rid of however I did reorganize it and put all of the stuff that I wasn't using in the bottom and now all of this stuff can freely move within here. I can even put some of these notebooks on the bottom or I can sell them and get rid of them. Not much progress. Might end up titling this reorganization of my file cabinet. We didn't really declutter anything. Well, maybe just a little bit. The thing I want to mention is these, I have these HelloFresh recipes. They are convenient. They are, they come with a recipe on the back. They come with a picture on front. They tell you exactly what to get. 
I don't know if I want to take the time to take a picture of the front and the back or to type in the information on the computer, so I might just keep these. Since I now have room in my file cabinet, I can make just an extra folder and put these in there. If they become way too overwhelming, then I will definitely be throwing them away because you can always look these up online. But they're very convenient to have to put right in front of you when you're cooking. No, I actually think I did a good job because now I can get in there a lot easier. Uh, before it was very tight in there and I just didn't even want to deal with it or go in there so I just shove things in there. But now it seems a lot more loose, like it's a lot easier to get in there and so. All right guys, so how was that? I just decluttered my file cabinet. I think I did a pretty good job reorganizing and taking some of the stuff out that didn't need to be in there and I designated it to it their designated places. If you keep to that routine when you move into the tiny house, don't just set things in, in a random spot. I found that my file cabinet was becoming a storage area, so I would just shove everything in there. Now that we took a good look at everything that was in the file cabinet, it, it has now become a file cabinet again. It's gonna be easier for me to get in there and get into my files and actually store what I need in there. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and click that notification bell so you can receive a notification every time I post a new video, which is every Sunday. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. This week's video, I am going to bleh. There's like, find myself cons uh, me moving out of my, uh, hold on.